Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from TechRoot.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an ISO file from a folder for free without using any external software on Mac. So, let's have a look. Alright guys, the number one thing that we have to do is to go ahead and create a folder which is going to include all the files that we need and then we're going to use that folder to convert it into an ISO file. So let's go ahead and do this. So just right click on the desktop and then press on new folder and I'm going to name it as Windows 11. So for this purpose of this video, I'm going to create a Windows 11 ISO file and I'm going to go on my downloads and I'm just going to open this ISO file. Now you're most likely going to have the files ready. So this is exactly what I have right now. I have all the files ready. So I'm going to double click to open the folder and I'm just going to go ahead and drag all the files onto the Windows 11 folder that I have just created. It's going to take some time to move all the files depending on how many files you have. And once you're ready, then just close everything so we can avoid complexity. And now that we have the folder, we're ready to move on and convert it into an ISO file. So for this, just go on Finder and then go to Applications, scroll the way down till you see Utilities and then double click on Disk Utility. Here go on where it says File, New Image, Image for Folder, drag and drop Windows 11 onto it, press and choose and here, I'm just going to leave the same name and where it says image format, I'm going to select DVD and CD master. This is a very important step. Make sure that image format is DVD CD master. Uh, make sure to save it on desktop so we know where it's located and press on save. This is going to take some time. Now we have converted the folder into a CDR file, which is a vector kind of file, which is not exactly what we want. But the reason why we do this is because it's a lot easier to convert the CDR file into an ISO file. And of course, macOS doesn't give us the option to convert it straight from a folder into an ISO file. So to convert the CDR file into an ISO file is extremely easy and it only takes one step. So let me show you. To do this, just go ahead and click on done here and close this utility because we no longer need it. And back on utilities, go and launch terminal and make sure the terminal points at your desktop to do this just type cd and then squiggle slash desktop just like that press enter and then copy and paste this command now this command is going to convert successfully a cdr file into an iso it's going to enlarge it a bit so you can so you guys be able to see easier Okay, and here where it says file name, just copy down the name of your file. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So, so it should be on other. So the file should be on other other. And in my case, it's called Windows 11. So I'm going to just delete the file name from here. I'm going to type Windows 11, Windows 11. And if you have a space on the name, just move your cursor with your arrow keys right after the S, put a forward slash like that, and that's it. And the reason why we don't have spaces is because terminal is going to detect it as a different kind of command. So just make sure to enter a forward slash so you, you can tell terminal that this is actually a name. Move the cursor back by using the arrow keys again. And we're going to type the name of the new file, of the ISO file, how you want to call it. I'm just going to leave it as Windows 11, so Windows, it doesn't really matter how you name it, just make sure to name it in a way that you will be able to recognize it, and then press on enter, it's going to create the ISO file from the CDR file that we have just created. Now, this is going to take some time depending on how many files you have in the folder and how large the folder was at the beginning. Don't worry, it should take only about 10 to 20 seconds. Alright, there you go, so the process is done. And you should see the file on your desktop. In my case, I have everything stacked, so that's why it's under other. And this is the ISO file, Windows 11 ISO. And now if I right click on it and open with disk image mounter, I should be able to see all the files that I had in the folder before we convert it into an ISO file. 
And now that you have the ISO file ready, you can do whatever you want with it. If it was an OS, just like Windows 11, you could go ahead and install Windows 11 on your Mac. And I have an article if you want to install Windows 11 on your Mac down in the description. So be sure to check it out. It's a very good workaround and it currently works. And that's everything about this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to share this video to your friends in case they're looking for a way to convert a folder into an ISO file for free without spending a single penny. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop them down in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Finally, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to receive our latest updates and be the first one to watch our latest videos. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.